dun 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 Oh wait, that's the wrong game. Welcome to Star Trek Online, everybody. Time for the fifth anniversary special event episode, featured episode for the fifth anniversary of Star Trek Online, Dust to Dust. Oh yeah, it's time to get jiggy with it. Let's do this thing. By the way, I'm playing this blind. That means I've never played it before. This is the very first time that I will be playing it. We are on Ensign Ricky. That's right, Ensign Ricky. He's my engineer. He's prepared. However, I'm still not used to all the new icons and what they look like. So I kind of know what my powers are just based on where they were located before, but just looking at some of these, I don't know offhand. Like, that's engineering proficiency. But we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I'll use the right powers at the right time. Also, I've had some problems with my bridge officer stations sticking. I've put them in there and I have arranged the icons on the hotbar in space how I want them. And I saved it to a loadout. So hopefully that'll work and hopefully they'll actually stick with me this time. Anyway, let's start this thing. This is dust to dust. I have no idea how long this mission is going to be. So if it is really long, I may break it up into parts. Or I may just keep it all one long video. We'll find out. Alright. This seems to be a Harry Kim-centric mission. If you have not watched it yet, watch Voyager's Deathlock. I think that's the name of the episode. Deathlock. And that's where the two Harrys come from. One, spoiler, one dies, one lives. And the one that dies, well, I guess it's going to become a Kabali? I don't know. We'll find out. Also, Harry has some a past with a woman who he actually went to Starfleet Academy with. And uh, that was Lindsay Ballard. But she died also on Voyager and became a Kabali. And that was also an episode of Voyager her dealing with her Kobali self. So apparently all that's integrated in this mission. I'm kind of excited about that because it's a storyline that was not followed through in Voyager and it looks like Cryptic picked up the uh, picked up the whatever. What are they picking up? Picking up something. All right. Dust to dust. Captain Harry Kim of that of that of that. Okay, there is some spelling issues apparently. USS Rhode Island needs your help in solving a most particular, or most peculiar, mystery, I should add. We have a situation on Kabali Prime. You and I were both asked by name to help. All that I've been told is that the Vaudoir have launched a large offensive and have retaken the area in front of their temple, the place where they keep unconscious Vaudoir stored. They need our help to retake the area, though I have a feeling something else is going on. Can you help with the situation? I also suggest playing through all the Kobali Prime missions. They're very short, but you do need to be like level 57 or 58 in order to get to the very last one. I think it's level 57. But when you do, this it kind of reveals the two Harry Kim things. It's a fact! Go to the Solanade Ison Sphere to access the gateway to Kobali Prime. So we're actually going to do this on the Kobali Prime homeworld, it looks like. So maybe this will be a ground mission. And, of course, we get our 400 cumendations. That's the biggie right there. And we get a Polaron Beam Array Mark II Kabali Uniform. Kabali Deflector Array available February 5th. Oh, these aren't even out yet. <laughs> but, but they are giving us a date to when they will be available. It's almost like uh, it's going to be installed on Tuesday. <laughs> Am I right? Available February 5th, February 12th, February 19th. Okay, so they're not even in the game yet. That's a little disappointing. Because, check it out! What is that? Oh yeah, it's a special requisition pack. Kobali Sebs Arc Cruiser Tier 6. Oh yes, it is. That's right, I was able to get it because apparently one of my other characters in this game had near 1,000 cumendations. All I had to do was one run of the Omega Particle Stabilization Daily, and bam, I was able to get the Samsar Cruiser 
on that character for a thousand cumendations, and that means all my other characters unlocked for only 40 cumendations. So now, like, every character that I own now has this ship. It is bound to character note, but hey, I've now got this darn thing, and yes, I'm going to use it in the future. Believe you me. Kobali Samsar Cruiser Tier 6, you will be getting a review in the future. Hopefully this will load well. Been having a little bit of lag today as I've been playing. I've been doing a lot of the Omega Particles on all my characters just so they can all do it at least once. But... I guess, you know what? I don't need to go to the Solene Dyson Sphere. I can just go straight to the Delta Sector Block because I can do that because I'm awesome. That's just how I roll. Let's go to Kobali. So uh, yeah, I put all my icons on here where I need them. I just hope they finally stay there like they're supposed to for the, for a change. The Kobali Offensive. Go to Kobali System. Sounds like it's gonna be this is gonna be an all ground mission, but who knows, right? I surely don't. But shall we need to go into space battle? My ship is ready and we're passing Kobali Prime, so back, back up, back up, hit reverse, stop, reverse, oh, come on. That's some inertia you got there in space, apparently. Back it up, and <laughs> we flew right past Kobali Prime. Again, dust to dust. Cutscene. Ah, sweet. 34 years ago. The breach is widening. I've got to close this now. Almost there. I just need a minute to... Harry! That scream Harry! sucks. <laughs> Voice hands! acting. Voice acting Can't there. Reach! Uh, yeah. I'm slipping. Ah! Ah, that was terrible too. But how awesome that they're recreating a scene from a Voyager episode. That is freaking sweet. I mean, I've never seen them just outright replicate a, an episode of Star Trek. The Vodwar are making a new push into the system, and we could use your help. The Rhode Island is assisting the new Kabali flagship Samsar, but you know the Vaudoir. They're relentless. Well, let's see, why are the Vaudoir still attacking the Kabali? Ask them if you can get one of them to have a reasonable discussion. Eldex has been less than cooperative since Gaul's death. We know he's leading the remaining Vaudoir forces, and there's no signs that the neural parasites are still influencing them, which is the only good news. The Vaudoir won't stop their assaults until the Kabali surrender the remaining stasis pods. But the Kabali government refuses to do so unless the Vaudoir agree to peace talks. We're at an impasse. Well, I guess it's up to me now, isn't it? As always. Well, I am, I, I am after all, Fleet Admiral. So I might as well do something. Alright, let's go to... Okay, though, this is space battle. I thought this was an open zone here for a second. No, I'm actually in a space battle. Now, what are what are all my buttons do? Because I got no idea. I think there's a little bit of lag hitting these buttons now. Some kind of like lag associated with button pressing. Could just be that there's a million people playing, I don't know. Huh, these Vaudoirs seem easier to take out than 
the Vodwar I was playing in Delta Rising. One more like, group inbound. No problem. Brace yourselves. Yeah, these Vodwar are much more easier to take out. Yeah, there's some kind of lag pushing the new buttons that they've added here. Weird. Doesn't feel like it did before. No match for my Galaxy X. I can take out a million ships. Have one of these. And take one of those. Nice. Alright. No problem taking out Vodwar. Thank you for arriving so quickly. I'm still not sure what happened. All I know is that we lost contact with the temple, and several hours later, a large Vodwar fleet attacked. However, I'm still not sure if the Vodwar have entered the temple. If they have, they may already be reactivating their soldiers in stasis. We're safe here, for now, but the battle on the ground continues. No one can enter the temple, and the Vodwar are seizing control of the surrounding area. Well, we need to take it back. Captain Kim, Hinch, and Jet Nyan, the three of us are going in with an away team. Sounds like a plan. I've located a safe area in the trenches for transport. My team and I will go down first and secure the area. See you there. Will Voyager be coming to help us? Voyager is currently on a high priority operation in Vaudoir controlled space. Any comm chatter could give away their position. Whatever they're doing, Tuvok says it's important. But that's all I know. Wow, so some kind of mystery going on there. I'm sure that'll be revealed in a future episode. That'll be neat. All right. Uh, can your team aid us on the ground? My officers and I will join you. The Samsar will return to the dock with a small repair team, but I'm sending the majority of my crew to the city. We cannot allow the Vod... Sorry. I was going to see if I could heal it for them, but I guess I can't. Thank you for arriving so quickly. I'm still not sure what happened. Sounds like a plan. A Voyager is... My officers and I will join you. The Samsar will return to the dock with a small repair team, but I'm sending the majority of my crew to the city cannot allow the Vodwar to take control of it as well. Our flagship will be of no use to us if the planet is lost. Alright. Mm, let's do this then. Beam to the trenches. Oh good, I get to have all of my bridge officers finally. It's always a pleasure when I finally get to have all of them. Let me make sure they all have shields and armor because I'm not even sure. Yes, they do. They're all ready. Excellent. I've geared them up appropriately. For example, the Voth has the Dyson Heavy Combat Armor and a Dyson Shield. And the Dyson Proton Beam because he came from the Dyson gear. The Jim Hadar, he's got Jim Hadar Armor, Jim Hadar Shield, and a Jim Hadar Weapon. So he's got his fu full Jim Hadar set. The Breen, what are you using? You're using Jim Hadar set. Oh, that's, that's temporary because. I don't have a set that I wanted to put on him yet. And uh, you're using Mako, Mako, and Mako. Good enough. Let's go, guys. Hopefully I have gear on. It's been a long time since I've done ground missions. It's raining. And things are firing. People are firing at things. Um, yes. Do I need to shoot these tank people? No, I guess not. Speak with Kim. The Kabali forces are spread thin, and the Vodwar are making a push toward the temple. If I may, I have a suggestion for our plan of attack. Tell me your plan. Henshin Jatanian and his team will attack the outer area of the trenches, making their way to the temple. 
My away team will move to the opposite end of the trenches and support the remaining Kabali soldiers there. While they're holding the flanks, your team and I will push through the center and strike the Vodwar in the temple courtyard. Your thoughts? Um, before we do that, Harry, let me just turn down. That is loud. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. The Kabali um, forces are spread. Hanshin Jatanian and his team will attack to the outer area Jitanian. of the trenches, making their way to the temple. My away team will move to the opposite end of the trenches and support the remaining. By not. My team is eager to prove themselves. You and your allies have set quite an example for us to live up to. We'll support the forces at the other end of the trenches and then make our way to the temple. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet up with you before the final assault. Okay. So I'm following Harry. Is that it? Or no, what? What am I doing? I guess I'm going. Oh, I'm going in the trenches. Who are you? You're a Gorn engineer? What's a Gorn engineer doing here? The Romulans lost the point ahead. Help me push forward and retake it. Being fired at. We should repair these turrets. More Fadwa will be coming. Repair downed turrets. Right. Oh, these turrets. Romulan turrets. Flamethrower turrets. Awesome. Here they come. Well, I have turrets of my own. Watch this. I got one of those too. See what I just did? Take out that drop pod. What drop on this? How do I take it out? What? What do I do? Destroy the Vodward or what's the drop pod? Is that the drop pod? Clear here. Ah, Let's keep moving. How'd I do that? I don't know what just happened, but whatever happened, it sounds like we needed that to happen. Okay, moving on. It's a different color, different vibe here. Uh, it's raining and it's dark. They changed up the environment on us here. What does this Let's do? Take them down. Oh, it's cover shield. Enemy Don't want a cover shield. Take out that Vaudoir drop pod, and then keep moving. So what, am I supposed to shoot at it? Oh, I am supposed to shoot at it. Well, that We're makes almost sense. there. Good. Move forward. Oh, there's Hanshin Lim, whoever you are. Speak with Hanshin, uh, I forgot how to pronounce his name already. Our scouts report that the temple is heavily defended. We still have some Vodwar attacking our flanks, but my soldiers insist they can keep them occupied long enough for us to retake the temple. Are you ready for the final push? Um, sure. Huh. There are other areas of the trenches in need of aid. My team and I could go help them while Captain Kim and his team stay with you. Or, if you think you can assault the temple alone, Captain Kim will rendezvous with his officers as well. However, I highly recommend you bring all of us in for your attack on the temple. Um, normal, hard, very hard. Normal. Everyone should assault the temple. Hard. You go to the trenches. 
Captain Kim, my team, and I will handle the temple. Very hard. My team and I will attack the temple alone. You and Captain Kim are needed elsewhere. I don't know what where elsewhere they would need. Um. Hmm. I'm kind of conflicted here on what to choose. I have no idea. Obviously, I don't think attacking the temple alone is a smart idea. Why would I want to do that? Plus, whatever's in there, whatever secrets they're hiding, I would want Captain Kim to be a part of it. I would also want this dude here, because he's Kovali, to be a part of it. I feel like I should just do normal starting off. Although, hard kind of makes a little bit of sense, too. Because they could go take care of the people in the trenches while... While, um... Captain Kim and I go do the temple. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm just going to start with normal, because what I'll end up doing anyway is replaying this mission on all my characters. And in that, I'm, I will choose the different options, hard or very hard, and I'll find out what they do. So let's just start with the first one, and we'll see where, where normal takes us. If I find hard or very hard to be interesting, I'll record it. Are you sure you want all of us to attack the temple? I'm certain. Let's go. Sounds fine. I guess this is a way just to have everybody kind of help you take down the enemy, but... I probably could have done it myself, but I don't know. I don't know what the right answer was. I don't even have an enemy to target. Where's the target? Because that was really simply easy. I could have done that by myself. The temple was secure, and the doors are still locked, which means the Vaudoir didn't break in either. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen this sort of algorithm before. I'll have the door open in no time. After that, we can figure out what happened to the temple's security system. It shouldn't have done this. I don't deny that we'll need support. My team is one of the few still intact. Captain Kim's away team should meet up with us soon, but we don't know what kind of numbers we'll be up against. However, the temple itself should be free of Vaudoir. If I may suggest, perhaps only you and Captain Kim should enter, and your officers can stay here and help us hold the area. Okay, um... Very well, our away teams will help defend the temple while Captain Kim and I investigate inside, or this isn't the first time I've been asked to leave my away team behind. I don't know what to choose there either. I suppose a logical option is to let my bridge officers, you know, be out here and defend the temple while I'm inside. Hmm. Mm, I don't know what to do. So, so many choices. Well, I like to have them with me because not often in these missions they've had recently do we get to have our full away team with us. I'm going to choose the option to bring them with me. And I think the next time I play this, I'll choose the other option and see what happens. That's what I'll do. At least all the Vaudoir here are in stasis pods. Let's take a look around. I want to know why the Kabali lost control of their security systems. Look for security logs. But it's just me, I'm all alone. That's weird. I, I literally am all alone in here. What's the deal? Thought everyone was going to come with me. I'm alone! Uh, uh, okay, well, I guess we'll go look for security logs. Oh. 
That's... that's not right. According to these readings, the occupant of this pod was... me? Yeah, about the that. The name on it is... Ketten. 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 Must be a computer glitch. Could be a symptom of a bigger problem, but whoever was in this pod is gone now. Looks like it was open before the problem started. Hold on. I'll access the temple security footage. Maybe that can show us something. Yeah, so... About you, Harry. <laughs> You're not the real one, by the way. That's... That's me. But from over 30 years ago. What in the world? Oh, come on. Stay You're back. smarter than that. Are you with the Vidians? What do you want from me? Ketten, you have to calm down. My name is Jet Laya. I'm here to help you. That's not my name! Where am I? Where is Voyager? I need to contact my ship. Jet Laya. Wait! Come back! Why is it that Jet all... Laya? And me? Hold on. There's more security footage. This is the last thing that was recorded. Voyager, this is Ensign Harry Kim. If you get this message, I'm in an unknown alien prison. I've escaped my captors, and I'm looking for a way out. I'll send another message with my coordinates as soon as I can. Come, come find me. <laughs> that... That was me. From over 30 years ago, in my Bingo. old Voyager uniform. And they're turning me, him, into a Kabali. You got it. They knew. This whole time I've been here, they knew. And Lindsay, Jidlaya, she knew. Bingo, kid. I know I've had a difficult time accepting the Kabali, but they keep too many secrets. They should have told me. Told us about this. I agree with that 100%. Also, somebody explain to me why all the Kobali names sound Amish. Um, well, I guess we need to go through the dialogue just in case you aren't aware. Let's see, wait a second. You, how? A lot of strange things happened on Voyager's trip through the Delta Quadrant. During our second year here, the ship and everyone on it were duplicated. It was a freak accident. An encounter with a subspace divergence field we still can't completely explain. But two voyagers, sharing the same point in space-time, it was a recipe for disaster. We tried to cooperate, to find some way to save both ships, but... But you couldn't. I'm... I'm from the duplicate ship. That's right, you're the Captain fake. Captain Janeway sacrificed it so one voyager could survive. The other Harry was Our killed Harry, in a hull breach real before one. that happened. <laughs> Captain Janeway sent me and Ensign Wildman's baby to his Voyager before she self-destructed our ship. Yep. It made sense at the time. I'm Harry Kim. I have all my memories, my knowledge, same as him. We were exactly alike in every way. Except one of us got to keep living, and the other one didn't. And now that's changed. It's changed, all right. Best I can guess is that a Kabali ship must have found his body floating in space. It's a million to one shot, but Lindsay might have remembered our coordinates when we were duplicated and known where to start looking. They must have spent decades reconstructing him and putting him through their rebirth process. I don't know whether to be impressed or horrified. I think I'll go with both. I'd be a little horrified, cause, um, yeah, that's a little obsessed for sure for, for one person. and. He had been in space for who knows how long before they found him and uh, turned him into a Kobali of all things. Um, well, all right, let's do who's Jetlaya. Jetlaya was, is my friend. I knew her as Lindsay Ballard. She was an engineer on Voyager. We went to the academy together. She taught me how to ice skate. We studied together and shared peanut butter peanut sandwiches. Peanut butter sandwiches. And I was and more chili. than a little in love with her. Don't forget the Lindsay chain. died on an away mission. The Kabali found her body, revived her, gave her a second life. But she still remembered Voyager. She tried to come back, but... It didn't work. Rebirth does more than rewrite your genetics. It changes who you are. Lindsay was different. She was Kabali. Eventually, she was convinced she should embrace that part of her. She left Voyager with her new family and I never saw her again. 
When I was posted to Gabali Prime, I wanted to talk to her, just to see how she was. She didn't respond to my messages. No. A lot of strange things happened on Voyager. Oh, I'm. That. It's changed, all right. So Best you're not the real get, Harry. Cam. If you want to get technical, <laughs> Harry and I are the same person. We have the same memories, the same knowledge. We both hate the cold, and we love music, and we both like mushrooms and onions on pizza, and we share a soul, I guess you could say, if you go for that sort of thing. Quantum duplication is a difficult thing to summarize. It's only happened a few times. I don't even understand it, and I wouldn't be alive without it. It has happened a few times in Star Trek. One I can remember is um, Riker was duplicated from a transporter thing. Du quantum duplication out of a transporter thing accident. So there's two Rikers. Um, will you be able to complete our mission? I'll be okay. A little shaken up, but... Captain Janeway once told me, we're Starfleet officers. Weird is what we do. And this certainly applies. So what's your opinion of the situation? From what we saw on the security footage, it looks like the other me has taken control of the entire base. That's not too surprising. Not only does he have all the knowledge of a Starfleet officer, the rebirth process transformed his brain. The Kabali's six-lobed brains give them natural abilities in mathematics, physics, wave phenomena, everything he'd need to know to do this. He's still wearing his comm badge, though. I can tap into it. You should try talking to him first. Try to calm him down and convince him to surrender. Uh, don't you want to talk to him? Not yet. He's already scared and confused. Seeing me before he gets his bearings, it will just make things worse. Okay, so I need to talk to the other Harry Kim. Wow, okay. Uh, Hi. Starfleet! Wait, I, I don't recognize you. You're not from Voyager. And your uniform? This is a trick. I don't know who you really are, but stay away from me. I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to get back to my ship. You can tell whoever you're working for that Captain Janeway's coming back for me. She won't leave anyone behind. Ah, uh, Harry, um, we're here to help. This isn't a trick. He's severed the comm link, but I've got a lock on his coordinates. He's deep in the base, down in the old Vaudoir tunnels that even the Kabali don't enter very often. And he's locked down all the main corridors that lead to his location. There's a way, though. There's emergency climbing equipment here. The Kabali put it in a few months ago in case they lost power during the Vaudoir attacks. We could use it to cross the chasm and get closer to where he is. I'll be right behind you. But it's time to see if I can talk some sense into the other me. He wants to contact Voyager, but if he does, he'll reveal their position. Unless we stop him, Harry either ruins Voyager's mission and possibly gets them killed or captured, or he finds a ship sets a course for their coordinates, and gets blasted by the Vaudoir. Understood. I'll meet you on the other side of the cha chasm, or why can't we just use the transporter? Good idea. Kim to Rhode Island. We need an emergency transport to... Kim to Rhode Island. Can you hear me? Kim to Chitanian. Chitanian. Kim to... He's locked out external comms. Probably wants to stop anyone left in here from calling for help. I'm afraid the zip lines are the only option. Unless you can fly. Well, I can on Risa. In the summertime. Understood. I'll see you on the other side of the chasm. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do that zip lining stuff again like we did in uh, one of those missions. Shall I pick this one? Or this one? <laughs> Or this one. I have no idea, so let's just choose the middle one. I know you're confused, but you have to trust us. Certainly, they what have this? easier Another ways me? of you getting around me here. To trust a shapeshifter? Certainly they don't all zip line down here every time they need to get around this area, although that could be fun. Maybe that's what the Kobali do for fun around here. Let's go to the place where we store the dead people and zip line all around. Yay, we're ziplining. That must be what they do for fun. I've got them figured out.